Welcome guys, it's time to play. Happy to see some new faces already around. Thanks for tuning in. Um, feeling a little bit sick, so I hope I don't actually get it. Um, but let's see how we can do today. Should work out. Should work out. Erase the shadow. Oh, let's race the shadows. Sounds fine. Mm, interesting first pick. Welcome, guys. Oops. It's time Echo. to play. Sorry. Happy to see. You. Just checking out that the stream works and sorry for the echo. Um, okay, interesting first pick. Falcon is most likely to do nothing that we actually want. Main control tech should be a consistent pick here. Uh, piloted Shredder over the other two. <laughs> Whoops. Um, Azure Drake over those two. Kind of easy picks so far. Um, haven't played a Warlock Arena so far. Um, since the expansion came out. Um, we might look for White Walker actually, to protect the early guys, or to protect guys in general. <coughs> I'm not sure how many spells we will pick up to make use of the Cobalt Geomancer. With all these new 2-3s around, Cobalt Geomancer is most likely to be a worse card than before. Even worse than before. Reckless is probably too slow. Uh, it's a fast card, but too expensive overall. Uh, this is an interesting pick. It's like... <laughs> establish early game, establish uh, the latest late game, or establish some early mid game board control. Um, I think I go for the Chow here. Um, The only thing that Void Caller actually could call so far is a Void Walker. Seems a little bit weird. Um, nevertheless, if I pick up something better, like a Dread Infernal or something, it should be good. Although I kind of tempted to pick the Jungle Panther. Fine. Um, Hellfire probably better than Lord of the Arena. Depends pretty much on the rest of the draft. Uh, that's kind of a catch-up card. Probably better than Lord of the Arena. Yeti or Dread Infernal. This one is interesting. Especially because we have we already have some synergy with White Collar. Um, and it's good to be able to use the Battle Cry actually as a Warlock without being able to ping. Especially in the late game. Hmm. But Yeti's still pretty nice card though. Um, kind of tempted to pick the Dread Infernal. Might be too optimistic. Well, let's pick it. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, Yeti might have been better then. Uh, Torn Warrior? It's still kind of early. Second Dread Infernal should be fine. Second mind control tech over the other two. We all need some two drops. Um, sacrificial pact? No, not really. Do we have max so far? One. Okay. Over magi. Um, okay, so my champion. We need something more early. Um, pint sized. We're almost halfway through and don't have any two drops. So. Pretty desperate in picking two drops now. Wow, this fell cannon is such a liability. Uh, okay, swordsmith might work well with white walker and such. Um, earthen, earthen, warlord or squire. Or Archer. Ah, let's go with Warlord. 
Uh, Crusader, nice. Um, still looking for some. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm tempted to pick the healer over the champion. Probably not. One, two, three, four. Probably not the Rise of Fan Hunter. Um, though we don't have too many high health minions. Um, but it's also like. Uh, Given the resources for one more card draw. Yeah, Stormwind Champion is probably too slow. Overall. Um, I'm still looking for two drops, so the River Croc might actually work. Mortal Coil is also a pretty good card. But I think I still need one, two, three, four, yeah. I kinda need to do this. Um, Hobgoblin, wow. These crappy epic pigs. It's like always hungry crap in Warlock, Murloc War Leader. Uh, one, two. Yeah, I have two minions that would synergize with that. And the body is kinda small. Um, War Leader. <laughs> wow, these pigs are pretty awkward today. Should I go for Sense Demons to get Dread Infernals? No, probably not. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Forest Tank Max might actually work. Shadow Bolt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ish. Shadow Bolt is too slow. I probably would like to have a Dark Bomb instead. Um, Forest Tank Max, let's try this. Um, Shattered Sun. A lot worse since I still have no early game. One, two, three, four, five. They're not even very resilient so far. Uh, Chatter is just, just a good card. Can be used in the light game also. Um, also, I don't have that many four drops. It's kind of awkward right now. The curve. Um, Gilblin Stalker. Works well with Shattered Sun too. Do we pick a Soul Fire? Now it's one mana. Um, Demon Fire just works with White Walker and White Collar, I think. Dreadfell's definitely too late. <sighs> Demon Fire for 2 damage. With all those n new 2 3s around, probably not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm. Probably Soulfire. So hopefully for the best. They fall behind. <laughs> I still don't get this card. Charge and Taunt is so strange. Um, definitely not the Magma Rager. Um, Stormpike Commando. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards so far. That's kind of reasonable. It's a fast card. Um, yeah, it's probably the best that I can get. One four is not threatening at all. Uh, yay! Well, Exorcist, I think I drafted it once in Arena, and I didn't get the battle cry off in all these games. Um, it's either so. It's probably either co and, and my three drops also. Pretty stacked so far. Um, probably Siphon Soul because I don't have hard removal. If someone comes up with a Force Tank Max. Looking pretty silly. Um, okay. Sludge Belcher is probably a very good card for me now. Um, don't have any taunts. Do I? Well, I have the Void Caller, right? <laughs> Walker. And three, four drops. Wow, this curve is messed up. Um, yeah, definitely Belcher. Second Hellfire. No, I need this two drop. It's also pretty good two drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yep. Don't have too many max. I think I have one or two. Already have a Hellfire. Um, yeah, Fairy Dragon is better. Wow. G 
you s probably doesn't work. Curve got kinda heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Plus I'm a warlock. Plus the body's weak. Um, probably a bomb, just to catch up a little bit. Uh, our king golem three slot is full and it doesn't do anything. Okay, fine. Score is zero zero. Um. Wow. This got kinda out of hand. Um, I got some early game, um, which is good because I didn't have any halfway through, um, other than the White Walker, I think. Um, my three drops are pretty weak. Um, Earthness, okay, mind control tag might help might help. Um, Murloc boy leader doesn't have anything to hit. Not even a Murloc tight hunter or something. Um, Razor fan hunter, well, doesn't do too much. Crusader and cleric is kind of fine. Uh, not happy with this one now. Um, Soulfire might help catching up. Um, White Walker. I'd protect the one or the other guy. Um, Fair Dragon is nice. Master Swordsmith is pretty weak. <laughs> um, probably won't hit too much if I don't draw my Wattwalker or Zombie Chow. Um, Pine Sized might be able to snowball a little bit, but it's most likely um, to die for free to one of the two threes. Um, Actually, kind of happy that we have the stalker for the shattered, but not sure how often this will happen. Raise a fin, crusaders, okay. Uh, mm, nothing is really exceptional here. Shredder could give some value. I, d I just have three four drops, which is also like I want to keep my four drops if I go first. Because it's just these three, but even if I go first, but if I go first, I'll have to pound it back because I don't have any good early game still. Um, Abomination might help. Azure Drake is kind of okay. Um, not sure what. No, the other choices were pretty weak. I think it was third pick or something. Um, Bomb Pikes, Siphon Soul, Dread Infernal. Two times Storm and Champion and Force Tank Max. <sighs> Late game minions are okay. Um, just have a bomb and Sludge Belcher to catch and Hellfire to catch up mid game. Um, just have like the Void Caller to protect something early. Um, if Soulfire and Stompike Commando to get a swing in and I have one, two, three, four, five, two drops. Um, which will lead me probably to a lot of turn two taps, which is actually kind of bad. <laughs> um, yeah, not too enthusiastic about this. Let's see how far we can get anyways. Uh, do we have the deck list? Nope. There it is. Okay, let's go. Pine sign is 
Definitely a keeper. Got more five drops, nice. <laughs> well, at least they have something like a curve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what uh, I was afraid of with this. Um, so what happens now? I play the 2-drop, he runs this into that, plays his own 2-drop or coins out a 3-drop. I play Warlock, so Murloc Boar Leader and the best thing for me would be he trades his Zombie Chow in and hero abilities to waste his turn 3. Don't have a turn 4 so far. Um, Pine size would just save me two health. Not even that, because this will heal me. So I think I tap. Uh, awkward start. So this will trade into the war leader then. Oh, I have a four drop. If I played the pine sized last turn, I wouldn't have the. Uh, I would have the Ogre Magi top deck turn 4. But this would be a 2 1. I can't kill a 2 1. Maybe he doesn't have anything and uses this and hero power. I don't know. Oh, okay. This will trade happily into my Magi then. Can't do anything about this. Play my Dark Scale Healer, which is basically a Yeti against his whatever he plays on 4. Uh, it's good that the coin is gone. And his random 2 drop and the Zombie Chow. Um, I'm not really sure how I will. Hmm. If this was a Hellfire, it would be pretty good. I'm not sure how I will get back into the game now. <laughs> okay, that's not the worst thing to happen right now. Yeti's pretty bad though. Uh, and I don't want to give him a soul fire, of course. Yeti just trades with a zero power. Um, and I'm not going to use my siphon soul. This isn't actually. Hmm. Well, I don't have a 4 anyway, so I wouldn't have played the soul fire, but. It's just a 4-4. Four, four. This doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm just happy that the Cho doesn't hit me. But <laughs> or can't hit me. <sighs> oh, thank you. Red Inferno would be nice. Well, or a mind control tag, but I'll just get the Chow probably. Um, I'd love to wrath this for one, but I don't want to give him. Uh, okay. So many Let's see what we get. <laughs> What did I say? Uh, it's, it's always like this. Um, we got Wrath for one and Soulfire and give him both. You could play some very funny Chow games now. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is bad. I'm facing 9 damage. 
you can kill both with his spells then. But we'll get them back. So but you cannot kill it. Huh. Next turn we play Stormwind Champion and then we can sacrifice the Chow. Um, Question. Uh, well, we can also kill off the zombie child, probably. Okay, let's turn this way. Chow always mixes up everything. <laughs> oh no, it's not Chow, it's Cho. Of course. It's all good Cho. Ah. Okay. Uh, my own Belcher. I could play Wrath Belcher. I wonder. Then what? Then he gets his Wrath back. Um, runs these two into the Belcher. Three two three two doesn't do anything. Stormwind Champion doesn't do anything either. So <sighs> Stupid pandas. Also, don't want to take four more. Um, I if I don't kill the Eddy, it's going to be pretty disastrous, probably. Ah, shit. Seven, nine, go down to nine, go to fourteen. Oh, okay. I'll try to sacrifice it. <laughs> Probably won't work. Well, I can heal myself for three with the siphon. Problem is, he will kill the Stormwind Champion and leave me with the Cho. I get some healing in. Oh yay! <laughs> I can finally get rid of this guy! So it was right to play it this way, it seems like. Okay, so we can get rid of the Demolisher and the Tauren Warrior? Or this? Um, five, six. So we have two spare mana. Hmm. Maybe just Belcher. So many no. What do I? What? Is there something that I definitely don't want to discard? A lot of high value cards in hand, but. Shouldn't matter if I can deal with this board. Um, mm. Probably the Wrath. I could also protect my guy. No, I can't. I should have tipped first, of course. Hmm. Probably the worst discard. This would have been good. Um, if you place an Iron Buck Protector, I still have the Siphon Soul. Um, my s yep, nice. My Shattered Clan. Uh, okay, he did the trade. Saved me three additional health. That's good. Nothing really tempting to play here. Um, I'll play the Swordsmith, I think. It's also good for... S I can hit this and play the Dread Infernal. can also set up the Warlord. Um, seems like I can crawl back into the game. Oh. 
Okay, it's just a 4 4. For sure, Tekken was afraid, but 4 4 is okay. Could set up a big warlord. It's probably better. Um, I'll take f six damage next turn. If he has One. savage roar, it's an additional six twelve. So do I want to tap? You want to play my big guys? Uh, not with this one out. So many Probably Razor Fan Warlord. Um, the ping doesn't really do anything here. And I can get value from the Swordsmith this way. Do it. Oh, okay. I'm hoping every turn again. Uh, a, a bomb can be set up later, I think. Should be. Yep. Big Warlord is good. Um, the question is do I hit? If I do, he can kill it next turn. Uh, oh. okay, let's not do it. It's probably one of the better targets. Um, because he can trade his Druid of the Fang now without losing it a turn later. Hmm, okay, that's bad. So, I should have hit. Hmm, not sure. Yeah, okay. Would be a 1-1, one, one, but this doesn't really matter right now. Ah, well, that's because of the Dread Infernal. So I should have hit. Damn. <sighs> okay, a bomb kills this and this, leaves this open. Um... That's seven, eight damage next turn. Eight is a little bit too much. Nine even. I wonder. Also, I can pr can I protect my warlord? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I don't want to tap anymore. Force tank. No, it's too much. Even will play the guildlin. So if I would have hit this guy, could I have played the Dread Infernal and what? This. Then I could have hit here? I don't know. Okay, use his face. Which means I can kill this with a Stalker next turn, but he will probably use it for Warlord. Okay. Okay. I have this on my own, but... Well, if he has a swipe, I lose. There's not much I can do about this. I lose to Savage Raw, swipe... Um, both taunts are gone. One is discarded, one just died. Dragonfall is kind of a liability right now. Okay, the Divine Shield goes away anyways. Huh. Hmm. It's a little bit too much damage. So... Shit. Is there a card that can rescue me? Like, I could play the Dread Infernal, hit here first. But the spider tank thing is. problem. If I hit this, that's 4, that's 5. Can I kill this? I have a Void Walker in here. And. Stompike? Stompike could help. Okay, let's see. 
This doesn't help. Um, nope. Pretty much as is as expected. Um, my low quality two drops and the few two drops and my low quality four drops are a problem. Um, the soul fire discarding the sludge belcher was pretty huge actually. Would have needed it to stall a bit, little bit more to come back. I have a bunch of three drops, I can just... would like to keep it, but I need a two drop. <laughs> ah, okay. Wow. Okay. This kinda works. At least it's now 2-2 two, two again if he plays a Chow now or something. Oh, 2-3-4. That's good. Our fours are also quite bad, all of them die to Yeti. For free. And my only ping is the Dread Infernal, I don't have more coils in here. Would have liked to try this floating watcher thing in Arena. Oh, Word of the Metal is even worse. Um, trades 2 for 1 with my guys. Not much I can do about this. At least I have a curve. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Turned out pretty well. Um, if I ignore his water elemental, can I just ignore it? What's the worst thing? He plays a Yeti and kills. I don't know. Now, if he kills the Magi, I'm totally fine with it. Um, have the Belcher to protect my guys next turn. Not giving him two for one. I don't really care about being frozen right now, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think this should be fine. You can ping the fairy dragon with this, which is a really huge plus actually. Um, now I can protect these with Belcher. I wonder if this is duplicate. <sighs> I also have to play around my entity as always. Um, also, Dread Infernal kills my own guys. Um, so I have 9 damage, I could put him down to 12, 11. Um, next turn, Blizzard kills these two. So I probably should kill this. Um, if it's duplicate, he will play one of these and ping something. It's not bad. I if he pings this, if I just ignore it, ugh, this robe. Um, that's my entity fine. Mm, if I wanted to play around the second cone of cold, I should have done it differently, probably. Okay. Um, Next turn, Flame Strike means I want to keep this healthy and the Stormwind Champion. So I run these three. <laughs> Fuck. I could play the Dread Infernal. Then this dies, so I have to ping it here. These are three. Ugh. Awkward. Mm. 
So if I play the Storm and Champion and hit everything with this, then I have a 3-5 and a 6-6. Six, six. He fireballs one, plays a 3-drop against my Belcher. Um, yeah, if he flame strikes this board without me doing anything, it's pretty awkward. So if he plays his 3-drop and I play my first tank max and he polymorphs... Okay. Seems like he doesn't do it. Polymorph 4-drop. Maybe I shouldn't even have played around Flame Strike. Should have considered. Uh, yep. Shouldn't have considered not to play around Flame Strike to some extent. White Walker is a pretty bad one drop, at least, especially on its own. Greetings. I greet you. Might play an Othshy Cleric or a 3 2. And okay. I have a 3 3, but. Hmm. I might just tap next turn. Yeah, there's the three two, of course. Of course it's there. Um so I play my war leader, he runs this into that, has a three one, plays a three drop, run my war leader into it. Then I have nothing the next turn. I can clear this up with a hellfire. Oh. Let me chow works. White Walker probably dies for free now. Well, as long as I don't get an Innovate in Dread Inferno. <laughs> okay. Oh, this works. This works really well. Nice. Means one draw Acolyte. Um, if he has a Shadow Madness. He gets a 2 for 1. Don't draw from his Acolyte, and I get my Pilot of Shredder out before he plays something else. Mm, okay. Didn't consider the Shrinkmeister, though. Curious if mind control tech will hit anything. Um, Hellfire doesn't do much, but killing this, so I can just play my shredder. And this one, because it doesn't trade into this, of course, and also Holy Nova is a thing. That's a problem, though. Mm, could hit it and Hellfire. But my 2-drop will most likely die, and if it's uh. Cho <laughs> again... <laughs> huh. Um, could play my Dark Scam Healer. Runs this into the... You can't heal it, that's a plus. Um, next turn is probably Dread Infernal or Hellfire. Mm. Yeah, I can just hit it and play the healer. Be right back. Thank you. 
<laughs> I got a vitality totem and he got a yeti uh, okay okay that's kind of a problem they want to hellfire this um, could kill the yeti with red inferno but I can also kill this um, pine size is also kind of a problem Vitality totem. Vitality totem. <sighs> Even a doomsayer would have been better. Are you ready for this? That's a little bit scary. Uh, Dead Infernal should be able to deal with it. Um, this doesn't, this doesn't... Okay, fine. Wow. <laughs> really big drops in here. Um... And I'm getting low already again. Kind of a problem. Dragon Thunder can ping this away, but nothing else. I can heal this and play a bomb. I could also play Stompike, but I'd take another 7 damage. It's me down to 12. If he hits this, I have to. Hmm. Still my best guess, I think. <laughs> Can kill it with Dread Infernal, Dread Infernal next turn. <laughs> well, maybe not. This is scary. No, don't heal it. Don't heal it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Play another one. Uh. Okay, do I run both of them into this? Also play Dread Infernal hit, and this has six. He holds it up to eight. Hmm. Well, it kills this one, of course. So uh, I can't play the bomb. So. So many possibilities. Okay. I play the Dread Infernal hit this. This is a 7-6. Yields it up to a 7-8. Hits one of these. So 7-2. Then I have this, this, or this. Hmm. Or he doesn't hit anything and I go down to 12. E11. Yeah, I don't really think I have another chance. Also playing around mind control tag. Hmm. Wow. Oh. If he has another health buff thing, temple enforcer or something. Tiger is actually pretty good, um, because it will get a guaranteed health buff if I kill this. Um, yeah, I kind of have to kill this. Um, 
Then apply it a bum. So many possibilities. Save the siphon for this. We'll most likely get buffed. Um, take another two here. Sixteen. Eleven. Fourteen. Uh, probably have to tab. Uh, next turn is the last turn where I can actually get value from the mind control tag. Um, I'll probably play them together because this dies to the bomb. If he has Holy Nova, I die anyways. Not much I can play around. Okay, let's see. Stormwind Champion. Stormwind Champion is nice. Can kill both of these. And if he has Shadow Word Death, then I siphon this. And then he has 7 mana. <sighs> it's kinda risky. But at least I have a 4 1 still. Only Nova kills both. I think it's my best bet at the moment. Ogre. Whoops. Probably siphon the ogre then. Hmm. Okay, so he doesn't attack? Oh, okay. That's actually quite good for me now. Um, still no mind control, t control tech value. Um, I think I want to dump my hand before the soul fire. It's 10, 14? Oh. It's actually not that far away. I can't play Siphon and a Bomb, I can play... Pine Sized? Head here? So many yeah, I have to kill this. So it's either this and Soulfire or Siphon. Hit here. A Bomb. Bomb is a 5-5, five, five, deal 7, doesn't do anything. So it's... Siphon... hit mind control? Tag? Yeah, okay. I can kill the champion now. Uh, champion got a 2 for 1 then. And. Oh, okay. Oh, it's out of. Uh, now it's out of soul fire range. Hi, Belcher. So he runs out of cards and I. Got a reasonable health to uh, health total now. That's good. Could run both into the champion and so Belcher. Belcher a bomb. Six to his face. No, it's twelve. Twelve was very dangerous. I still have an Azure Dragon here. This would be nice. Um. Do you want to so start drawing cards? Three on his side versus my eighth. Three, four, hmm. Heals this to seven, four. Okay, that's good. So yeah, okay, let's do it. Next turn is most likely hand dumping. <laughs> hmm. Three, five, seven, eight. Okay. Dump hand and tap. 
So I can hit this. Six. Four. This works. Bet now is turn where uh, the mind control tech could actually hit. Uh, okay. I'm glad that his hand also contained a lot of garbage. Um, okay. Most likely clear, anyway. So. Force tank mags, that's good. Hopefully, if this is no death. Um, want to clear the worgen. Cannot clear this in a good way. How long did he keep this card? Should I play around my control tag? Mm. No. Yeah, I could could have tapped first. Four four is probably better than. Um, do we attack? Don't think I need to. <laughs> okay, he kept this card. Uh, okay, he play played the ogre, so he had four mana. So, not sure how what this is. So if I don't kill this, I go down to seven. This is a holy fire, pretty much dead. This dies to holy nova. Um, I think I don't want to tap anymore. The quest is which minion do I play? Kind of tempted to watch the first tank max and leave this open. If he has a death, though, pretty much dead. to die to death actually. So. Um. Still no reason to attack with it. You can hit and heal. This way these two can kill this if he doesn't have a shield. Okay. Okay, one five doesn't isn't scary and now I know it's not death. That's good. Do I want to tap now? I can kill it next turn. Go down to 9, go down to 8. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, these two are a nice combo next turn. There's no real reason to keep this in stealth now. Ah, come on. <laughs> you probably should hit my Ogre Magi now. Should have hit the Ogre Magi and healed this. I think. I won't play around on my control tech to top deck. Yeah, yep. Seven ten is okay. Um No, if I do it this way then it dies to this. This way it dies to Holy Nova, but nothing else. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, 
I can just dump my hand again. Do I die to Dark Bomb? Well, Dark Bomb is kind of a problem. I have a 2 1 and a 2 1. I don't play around an epic at this point. Just try to close it out. So low. Besides, a 10 10 is very scary. I would have dropped A-bomb and Soulfire did. I uh, can't quite recall the situation. <laughs> Your way is much better. Okay. Well, I think I did it right then. Yay, a 2 draw. Against the Shaman. Um, against the Shaman, my two mind control attacks should be really good. would really like to cle keep the Shredder, but... Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank goodness. Hmm. If this stays alive, Fort Lightning isn't bad because this survives. And this stays alive, I can probably. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I'll do nothing to play. <laughs> Would have been nice to play one of these now. So. I have to tap. Yep. Ugh. Wrong order, guys. Wrong order. Um. Say it's one of this, one this, and then he rolls a healing totem, and then that's a 2-2. Two, two. No, he probably doesn't hit it. Hit uh, this, and one. face, and healing totem, and this is a 2-2, two, two, I can hit it. Um, or I can hit this next turn. Is there a reason to kill one of the wolves now? Then this is a 2-1. Kills this. It's a 2-2, two, two. I can't play anything besides this, so no. Yeah, okay. Oh, you couldn't totem, of course, but... Hellfire! Next turn, one of my five drops. <sighs> it's just Hellfire against like 80% of a card. <laughs> Next turn he plays a 4 drop. He's n no, he's overloaded. He plays a 3 drop. Hellfire into a 3 drop should be good. But then I can't play anything. If I play the Shattered Sun, it dies. Is it worth keeping it for one turn? Wow, I want my Shredder back. So I help, I, he plays his 3 drop, I play my healer, he plays his 5. I have a chance to play the Frostbolt Warlord as a 5-5. Five, five. Or I can play, yeah, okay, five, yep. Should be okay. Still not happy. Oh, okay. Okay, he didn't do anything. <laughs> That's a relief. Uh, do we play the Stalker now? It's a 3-4 if I play it with Cleric. And a 3-2. Rockbiter and 4-drop. So many possibilities. Kills this. I have a 3-4 stealth. Um, can heal the 3-4 later. Get a 5-5 five, five Warlord. 
Better than all the other alternatives. Okay. Also, two more minions. Is, uh, two minions better against totems. For lightning kills just one of them. Whoops. This is a card. Oh fuck. <laughs> My one and only heart removal shows up against the Fell Reaver. Um There's no real alternative in doing so. I want to keep this stealth because of Frostful Forward and um, and maybe Stormwind Champion. Okay. Otherwise, I can clear this tournament, but then he can. No, it's uh, he's overloaded for two. Four. Okay, Earthshock and 3-drop. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, before these totems go out of hand. Okay. So it was no problem to hit the totem. Was it? Five five seven five five. Yeah. Four of the same. What's it called in poker? Huh. So many possibilities. Sand is so clunky. If I heal it, it's a three three. Five five three two. I think I play the champion. Could play the bomb. He didn't have one damage last turn, so Abum could keep this for one more turn. If he kills the Abum, though, um, might have a s Fire Elemental now. Fire Elemental is a good reason to hit this, actually. Hmm. It's like roping every turn again. This vulnerable against Hex. Should be the best move right now. Hopefully. <laughs> Second far side, wow. Ah, he had had an earth shock, so he could have killed the stalker, that's good. Wow, that's a lot of resources for this bomb. Micro machine. Soulfire is a way of to deal with this stuff. Um Would I pick the mortal coil over? No. What I picked over the mortal coil is the question. So many possibilities. What did I? Hmm. If I would have played the storm and champion, hit it three one. Now I could play the dread infernal. I couldn't know it, but I had have two in my deck, so would have been an option. Regardless, um, that's the three-two next turn, so it's kind of the same value. I can just dread infernal soul fire. Probably the best way of doing it right now. Hopefully. I want to discard any of these, honestly, but and that's a lot of overkill. Hitting this and healer would have been nice. This hand is too clunky, anyways. I can play any of these cards soon. Uh, 
ready, sir. Someone called this. Second infernal would have been nice. Um, can play these two. This dies to this for free for one. This is six six. Six six is, should be kind of a problem for him. The next turn, something should so should be alive. If he doesn't roll spell power, lightning storm. That's eight damage to my face. Um, nothing to taunt up, anyways. I used my hellfire already. I can just. So if I kept my healer, it would have been nice. This would be a 6-5, I would be at 19. This would be a 4-5. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. This is a big problem. <laughs> what did he thank me for? Um, Dread Infernal or Stormwind Champion? Hit, this goes down to 4, 4 should be good here. Um, I don't want to tap anymore, obviously. Um, hit here, hit here, hit there. I can clear with Dread Infernal, I'm at 5 then. I have a 6 1, and this dies. Then I can try to crawl back. Okay, fine. Okay, this is given anyway. It's the same trade here. Okay, yep. Six three, yeah. I have an earthen in here. Whoa, shit. And a belcher. Oh, okay. No, none of these. Earthen or belcher? Still none of these. Uh, if I play Azure, I could draw into my belcher. Stormman doesn't do anything, Rest doesn't do anything, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I might be... This might rescue me. Mm. Wow. Of course, spell power totem. <laughs> okay, so it's mind control text omen champion. Yep. Yep. That's good. Um, can deal nine eleven damage to his face, but that's stupid. Want to get rid of this and keep my taunt healthy? Well, or alive. Let's say alive. Get rid of the stupid spell power totem. Uh. For the crusade. These minions are still very scary. Can I keep my taunt alive? Yes, but I have to sacrifice everything else. That's okay, because I have a Stormwind Champion and all these guys. Yeah, fine. Okay, so... This for the alliance. Who are you? We 
Uh. Spell power totem lightning storm again. Uh. Well, I'm dead to a lucky crackle anyway. Ah, got that I kept this alive. Oh, an earthen, nice. Um, how much damage is this? It's 9, 13, 18, 20... Are you kidding me? It's 9, 13, 19, 22, 24, that was 22. <laughs> nice. Well, okay. Let's wait one more turn. It should be fine. Was it worth sacrificing the divine shield in case of my lightning storm? Well, if he rolls spell power lightning storm, then this survived. <laughs> If this was close. <laughs> game on the edge. Again, I think. The priest game was also pretty close. <laughs>